Hey y'all, I'm Tim. Welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Today we've got an awesome video for you this, today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and sign up for our weekly emails on mrmaple.com. We're standing here with Augustin Coelho Vera. He's the chairman of the Maple Society. Uh, Augustin, this past week you gave a whole presentation on senescence. Now, what, what, what is senescence? Well, senescence, it's fall colors is the result of senescence, in fact. When we think about uh, fall and trees, that is the result of a process which is called senescence, which means that at the moment in their life of the year, the tree decides that it's time to shut down, and that is called senescence. So when the tree decides to do that, and we will see how the tree decides that, then the main purpose of the tree is to try to get all the sugars that are at that moment present in the green leaf, uh, which is a result of the photosynthesis that uh, occur during the, all, all the time the life is in uh, the tree is in activity. So this senescence, when it is triggered, then everything in the, in, the, in the tree has as a main purpose to get that into the trunk, into the roots that will serve as food to start up the next spring. Yeah, so we're standing here with Acer Japonicum Yamakagi. Many of you are probably wondering, what is this Japonicum, this large leaf Japonicum that we're standing in front of in the senescence, in this fall color that's displaying senescence? What types of chemicals do you think, what types of uh, pigments. pigments and things are playing role what you're seeing here with Yamakagi? Well, let's first uh, go a little bit back and see and, and try to say a few words of uh, when and how the tree decides to do that. Yeah. And, and I'm sure that all of you uh, have seen that some of your maples more or less change color at the same time every year, irrespective of the weather. That means that for those trees, the main environmental uh, factor triggering senescence is the length of the daylight. Yeah. Because the daylight is always the same. Yeah. You probably have seen also other maples, uh, like the palmatums, for example, yeah. in which the time of senescence, which means the time when it changes color, uh, changes from year to year depending on the temperature. So that shows that for those species, temperature is the main trigger. For instance, Acer japonica meiku jaku always starts fall color earlier than other things it may be on that it may be the length of day changing that causes a big role that plays a big role with the temperature often but plays a big role in it changing fall color it, it is a very complex process yeah you have the environmental factors we mentioned you also have the stress if for example if, if they are in hydric stress there is a drought in the fall they tend to senescence earlier because they want to stop all this uh, trouble with them with the drought and stress so and there's you have also genetic factors there are some species which by uh, because of genetics are early uh, senescence others are later so it is a very, very complex uh, process where there are a lot of factors for some species and factors are more important than others. So it's a learning experience for all of you gardeners to, to learn and to understand what makes each tree senescence. Which so, is, so earlier today, we were looking at the two hot blondes, one in Matt's yard and one at the yard across the street. The one in the yard across the street was in fall color in a more shaded area and the one in the sunlight was a little more active growing and it was a little more yeah, green yellow. We can, and, we can presume that in this case because we have exactly the same cultivar so yeah. the, the same genetic content then uh, the, the genetic there are no genetic differences so everything that makes the, the two those two three senescence at different times is environmental so uh, the amount of sunshine the amount of shade perhaps the kind of soil because they are all exactly in the same spot so all of these factors so temperature and uh, the temperature well they, they are not too far from each other so the temperature shouldn't be 
too different, I guess. Uh, the, the only thing that could, I guess, would, would affect that would be one was in sunlight, one was in shade. That's right. That's and right. so that might affect the soil temperature. And, uh, and, and also perhaps the, the, the hydric stress, the one in the sun, uh, the, the soil dries faster than the one in shade. So that could also play a role in, in, in change that. Yeah, it, it, it's amazing all the different roles that come to play when it comes into fall color. To start senescence. Then, to start senescence. Okay, so let's go back now. What happens when it, the senescence starts? As, I, as we said before, the tree tries to get all the all the sugars in the leaf. So the first thing the tree does, one of the first things the tree does when it, it triggers senescence is to stop the chlorophyll producing chlorophyll. Yeah. Chlorophyll, which is a green pigment that uh, makes photosynthesis, it disappears. It's not produced anymore. And uh, the, the, the pigments that are in the leaf that were masked by the chlorophyll uh, come up. There are dozens, dozens of different pigments, it's very complicated, which are pr uh, in, the, in the presentation of the maple society, in the, yeah. uh, you know, I, 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 it's a, it's a, I cannot, we cannot here uh, explain all the different pieces. And basically, once the, the chlorophyll uh, breaks down, you have some of the carotenoids, which are the yellow, orange, and red uh, paint-like uh, paint pigments that are already present in the leaf, that are expressed because the, the green one uh, gone. disappears. It's yeah. gone. Right, right. Yeah. So that. And, what, and then uh, the, the, the problem with also the tree has is that in order to recover all the sugars in the leaf, they have to protect the leaf from oxidative, oxidative damage due to the, to the sun in the, in the ultraviolet and, and deep blue wavelengths. So that will hinder this process of recuperating the sugars. So what the tree does is that it actually produces new pigments that act as a sunscreen to protect the leaf from the sun the time it gets the sugars out of the leaf. And these pigments are called are uh, a group called anthocyanins, which are in from the red, orange, blue. And then at the end, what you have in the leaf as expressed is a superposition of all those pigments. That, that's amazing. That's amazing that the fall color that we see, the senescence that we're seeing, is the result of the plant losing its chlorophyll and then these pigments playing different roles in protecting the plant while it's losing that and storing all of its sugars. That's right. That's and, right. and that's what we're seeing with fall color. And there's so many different pigments that play roles and play off of each other to create different pigments in, in Japanese maple. If you look here, this is clearly, uh, this shows the process. The, these, uh, the leaves that are exposed to the sunshine need protection with anthocyanins, which is what we see here in these reds. Uh, the oranges are the carotenoids that were already in the leaf, but they are expressed because the, the chlorophyll disappears. But the, the, the corners of a leaf, which are the most exposed to the sunshine, are the ones that need the most protection. So th that's where the, the most anthocyanins are produced. And if you, uh, if you go and look under this leaf, you see here, this part, this leaf is not exposed to the sunshine because it's protected by the others. So there is much less expression of anthocyanins. You can see a little bit in the edges because the edges are actually exposed to the sunshine, but not the rest of the leaf. So. It's taking longer for that chlorophyll to break down as well. That's right. Because that's it's right. not getting in as much sunlight. Well, the chlorophyll breaks down and what you see are the, are the carotenoids, which, as we said before, are already present in the leaf. Yeah. But the production of these, these reds, which are clearly anthocyanins, yeah. are mainly in the parts which are full, very exposed to the sunshine. As, UV protection. So I always say the rest you see is a cheap uh, sun cream that the, the, the tree produces to protect itself. That, that, that's some amazing stuff. Whenever we sometimes there's a different thing happening on things. Sometimes you have a red Japanese maple that then goes to yellow in the fall. Do you know what that what's going on there? It's again the 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 uh, there are doses of different pigments. Yeah. The red uh, the red Japanese maple it has. Uh, the red there comes from a superposition of different pigments. We saw that the, the, there are some red uh, carotenoids that may be produced in higher amounts than... It's a play between chlorophyll. Those red Japanese maples has lots of chlorophyll. Yeah. But the, in this case, genetics uh, make that tree to produce additional amounts of carotenoids that will show up as a, as a bronze or as a Bordeaux, as a red color. And then when the fall arrives, then the chlorophyll degrades and then the color expression 
it, it's different because the, the, there's different pigments involved the in that process. Involved, right, right. The, and those is, pigments are based on that plant's genetics. Some, uh, the, some the, of the, the ones that are permanent are yeah. uh, genetics. The new ones that are produced, like anthocyanins, also uh, are genetics because the plant should have to have the, the capability of producing them, and they are expressed depending on the, meteor on the, on the conditions. Uh, i give you an example of European maple, which is the Acer uh, platanoides. Yeah. Acer platanoides is not known for having uh, red for colors. Mainly, they are, you see the carotenoids, the yellows, and the oranges. But uh, uh, sometimes when, uh, when we have uh, in the Pyrenees Mountains near uh, where I live, there is a very, very uh, sunny and cold uh, fall. Uh, sometimes you see... Uh, not as red, of course, as the Japanese we see, but we, we could see this uh, European acid platanoid is expressing some anthocyanins because of the, of the intensity of the sun and the, the need for protection from the sun. So the, it's, really, it's really very complex, but uh, it's really very fascinating to learn about, about that. And I think that would also explain, too, why uh, in your southwest France, in your shaded area, and where you've got a lot of oaks and things like that, you get a lot of Japanese maples that go to that light yellow color. That's Whereas right. if those, some of those same varieties were in more sunlight, they might be expressing more red fall color. Exactly, exactly. And, and uh, some others uh, are, uh, some other Japanese maples, even in shade, they, they show red. In these cases, we can, we, we can safely say that it is the uh, underlying carotenoids, which are also reds that show up because they, they show up in shaded uh, parts of the tree, which cannot be explained by anthocyanin production. So it's... This is so inter such interesting stuff. Uh, this is the type of geeky stuff we talk about at the Maple Society. Yes. So yes, if, yes. You, if you're interested in joining the Maple Society, you should definitely go to the Maple Society's website and join in your respective area because there are groups in different areas. There's a North American branch, there's a French branch, there's a Spanish branch, there's an international branch, there's a UK branch. And so you can go and actually join the, inner, the respective areas for the Maple Society. And we talk about geeky uh, tree stuff like this, don't we, Augustine? Well, we talk about everything related to maples. Geeky and non-geeky, cultivation, <laughs> cultivation tips, uh, yeah. uh, favorite um, cultivars. We, we cover the whole gamut of interest in maples, from the very geeky to the very practical issues. So <laughs> don't hesitate to join the Maple Society. Well, go join the Maple Society. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video so people can understand the science behind fall color senescence. Amazing stuff. Uh, really appreciate you coming in and talking with us today, Augustine. And uh, take care, like, subscribe, and share. It was a good pleasure being here with you. Uh, yeah. Really enjoyed it. Take care and God bless y'all. <laughs>